Hi everyone. Welcome to Technical RPA. This video we are going to discuss about the architecture of the UA path components and uh, different types of components. See when we talk about UI path there is four level of important components and high level architecture. The components first is attended robot, unattended robot, third is UI path orchestrated, fourth one is UI path studio. So when you talk about attended mode, it is delivers low cost and higher performance with the front office agent supporting automation future so what is attended mode attended robot when you talk about attended so it will run your studio within your views of eyes so it will not run in back end it will run in front of his some process has they are planning to run with attended robot that is very minimal what is an attended robot these robots utilize unattended automation to run high backup is so it will not show us visibly it will run from control room or orchestrator or else system manager and transaction volumes in batch mode so what is orchestrated when you talk about orchestrator it is enterprise architecture server platform supporting it's it will support us release management centralized logging reporting auditing and monitoring tools and report controls centralized schedule queue and robot workload management everything it will be contained with web it is a web control room with centralized management architecture what is uap studio when you talk about uap studio it enable users to automate with highly initiative tools process recorders drag and drop widgets best practices templates as well as the studio is very main using the studio only you can build the flow chart sequence and recorders everything it will be available in studio how the architecture you about the architecture will work the arc the level of architecture first level is tier one that is client layer robot and developer both are come under the tier one the tier two is a server layer and windows layer it's all about orchestrator web application monitoring deployment configuration queue management logging and tracing everything will come under the tier two and tier three is a server within the backend maybe sql the main database robot configurations robot group assigned processes queues and queue items so everything will be available into the into the server robots see when we talk about ea path how the components and architecture of the deployment will work so when you talk about deployment there is four levels of components are available that is orchestrator deployment robot deployment package deployment and credential deployment so orchestrator is always dis containing with a disaster recovery uh, it may be available with cloud based robot deployment also in cloud based but it's all about depending on operating systems maybe windows or else linux what is the servers are depending based on the robot deployment package that is it is the control package propagation 
what is the credential deployment credential deployment always adding with audit and control The orchestrated credential assets are stored securely with a 256-bit AES encryption that is credential deployment. So RPI deployment, when we talk about uh, the component of the architecture of the deployment, so when we, in UI path, we can see the REA framework, workflow layouts, the naming strategy, variable scope, error handling, clean workflows, containers, selectors, everything which will be available with the best practices of development and the deployment as well. So what is REA framework in the architecture? The framework uses the state machine in studio to achieve a simple breakdown for transactional and repetitive process. Webath such as workflow layout using a sequence for linear execution and a flowchart to model business rules. What is the linear or straightforward executions will available in sequence and flowchart will be available with complex business rules. So when we talk about uh, REA framework, So we have architecture with attended and unattended robot. So when we talk about REF, there may be attended or unattended, come under that. So what is attended and what is unattended robots? So when we talk about generally, general use definition best fit and communication with server and features based on these five levels we can check that robot is attended or unattended so when you talk about attended robot in the architecture what is the definition is a robot that works with human agents side by side and assists them in completing processes automatically it needs some assistance from human agents so suppose what is unattended that is robot that works in unattended manner independently of any human action that is no dependency what is the general use of attended robot in manual repetitive highly rule based activities containing decision points that require human intervention it needs few judgmental calls to the high complexity and volatility of process inputs. Where it fits, it fits in service desk, help desk and call centers. So when you talk about that and that, it always fits with service desk, help desk and call centers. Other areas will not fit in attended robot. So what is the future of attended, centralized and auditing and agent assisted and releases of the update and role book. So when we talk about unattended robot, it's all about any type of backup is activity. Suppose uploading or downloading files, FTP, Everything will come under unattended. The key difference is that the attended robot cannot be triggered remotely from orchestrated or control room or system and has to be start only manually. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this video.